So I am here with Rachel from Savor Eats. Rachel, I'm so excited to talk to you today. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Rachel Weisman. I'm the co-founder and the CEO of uh, Savor Eats. Um, and what we're doing at Savor Eats, we develop uh, uh, cutting edge uh, robot chip platforms that create extraordinary plant-based food that can be personalized to customers' preferences and can prepare and cook the on demand in front of the eyes of the customers. Uh, our solutions gives the customers the ability to create the food that they want without compromise, while also helping the, the businesses to reduce the waste, uh, the food waste, uh, to streamline their operations, and also to create an unforgettable experience for their customers. Um, so uh, using uh, advanced automations, digital manufacturing, and also 3D printing, our uh, favorite uh, RoboChef uh, allows us to customers the order and create varieties of uh, meatless uh, items uh, based on the customer's preferences, such as size, textures, nutri nutritional profile, and the doneness level, and everything can be easily uh, tailored to the, uh, can be prepared and tailored to the customer's preferences. And the, the way that it works, like the operator simply load the food cartridges into the robot chefs behind me. And in just more or less five minutes, the customer's order is prepared, cooked and delivered. Wow. So how do you see technology shaping the future of food service? Because you guys are all about robotics and technology. And, you know, at the end, when we're thinking about uh, businesses and, and businesses operations and how can your business can be still be relevant and, and overcome some of your greatest challenges, such as, you know, uh, labor shortages or labor costs, uh, waste management and, and, and meeting your customers needs and want. Uh, we at Savory believes that you know robotics and and tech will be essential to solve these challenges and, and much more than that. And then the digitalizations of food, or more specifically digitalizations of food services, can also increase dining experiences, increase the customer satisfactions, and at the end also increase uh, loyalty. Uh, and you know, last but not least, and you know, integrating tech. Is, is also a way to keep your business on the cutting edge of, uh, of uh, multiple trends, such as food personalizations, uh, plant-based uh, trends, uh, labor strategy, labor costs, labor shortages, and, and, and also others. So that's what we believe where we think about automation and think about tech. Yeah, and, and you touched on a few things like um, like less contact from humans. Um, but do you think that I'm, I'm assuming I know the answer to this question, but are you able to produce a more consistent product by using robots? Yes, we do. Uh, the whole idea when you integrated automations and in, into into a, a regular operations where most of the time you were used labor or labor experience in order to make a specific dish by using automation by using the robot behind me that's really allows us to create a consistent product over and over and over again we can get the same product the same taste the same flavor the same textures uh, over and over again no matter where we are located uh, and without the need to hire or to train even experience labor in order to operate it. Um, that's where we use automation and that's where robots come in place. All right, so Rachel, I'm looking at this robot behind you and you mentioned this is very similar to a 3D printer. So how does it work? Is your operator just taking the ingredients and then putting it into a cartridge, just taking it in the robot and the robot makes me a, a hamburger? Yeah, the whole idea is that if you're familiar with an espresso, espresso model and the, the way that you make your coffee using your espresso machine it's more or less the same idea but just in food you have a variety of different cartridges different formulation that the operator loaded it uh, in the beginning of the daily walk and, and put it in a machine and the robots and 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 when the customers order the, the dish uh, send the command to the machine the machine basically 
squeeze and squeeze different cartridges in order to make the dish based on your preference on the spot using digital manufacturing process, also 3D printing. And it's been drafted and cooked, crafted and cooked automatically using the robot at, until the end that you have uh, ready to be ready to be eaten the product uh, within less than five minutes. That is incredibly future thinking, futuristic. Wow, this is like something out of out of the space age or something. Um, so tell me about this. How is this helping to enhance your dining experience for, for, the, for the customer, for the end user, for the guests? Yeah, at the end, the way that that we see it, uh, that the future of a food service is, is definitely personal. And there is growing demand for customizations, growing demand for personalizations. Consumers are much more educated and want to get involved and, and, and they want to get some kind of, of control and providing them and also the operator the ability to tailor their dish and, and, and their experience is basically giving them for the first time the control. So they so when you think about the experience, the robot chef craft and created the product on demand in, in front of the eyes of the customer. So the customers can can see it, can experience it, can smell it, can even listen to it. Everything has been done in front of his eyes. So it's definitely quite unique experience for the end consumer. Rachel, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. And thank you. I, pre I appreciate you helping to create the future of food service with us. So thank you. Thank you.